All right, hello pinballers. I've got some kind of good news. Uh, all of the all of the fuses are uh, not blowing, uh, mainly because I have the J19, and then down here I've got J11 and J12 unplugged, and there, so there's something with the coils that are going haywire uh, so that's why the uh, bottom the bottom fuse there keeps blowing because there's something going on with the coils or there's something quite not right um, I might plug in the uh, J19 and see if it blows but I'm thinking it's one of the uh, J11 or J12 that is uh, uh, causing the fuse to blow. That meaning, I think there's a coil that is uh, bad. And you'll notice that there is no flipper uh, action when I press the button. It's because I have all the coil stuff unplugged. Uh, also, I redid the plug. It's now fully nine pl uh, nine a nine connector now fully. Uh, all of them are intact now as I just replaced that today so um, that's a little bit more progress uh, so it's pretty exciting I'm well, looking at this uh, electrical tape on there it looks like uh, it might have been melted from uh, it either it was melted from the soldering iron or it actually melted the uh, the vinyl or plastic or whatever it is um, so I might actually Resolder that so that it's uh, down. Uh, it's gonna. I'm gonna lose a lot of uh, the wire, but I think if I cut that, uh, take off the tape, and then cut it where it's uh, melted, uh, it might clear up the uh, problem. But that's more of a switch, and it didn't really the switch edges really didn't uh, come up with an error for this switch so I don't know but it might be shorting shorting out or something but anyways I'll turn this off and and then look at the uh, this one I put the tape there because it, I did hit it with the soldering iron when I was unsoldering stuff I did hit this with, uh, and that's why I put the uh, electrical tape on there. Um, I don't know if I, I might have hit it w when I was uh, soldering the wires for the lamps. So it might be that. It might be uh, why this is melted because I got too close to the, uh, what the, uh, so that's twice that it's been hit with the soldering iron, if that is true. Uh, so I'm probably just going to do like what I said and just put the orange... Just do a whole new thing for the orange there. Alright, I'm showing what I'm doing here. 
Uh, I cut it way back and it would have been it would not have made it to the terminal over here so what I I did is I just soldered it and then I've got this shrink tubing here that I'll uh, I'm going to put over the solder here that I did And then I'll use my soldering iron to uh, and go under it so that it'll uh, shrink, shrink up. Or in theory, it'll shrink. Come on. May want, I may get my heat gun if this doesn't uh, shrink pretty soon. Actually, it does look like it is. Well, hmm. I think it is shrinking, but it's kind of slow. Okay, I, I see it kind of slowly shrink up. Okay, and I'll give it a test here and see. Yeah, that's... It could go a little bit more in the center there. My other option is I could take the wire from my the second play field, but that would take a long time, uh, longer than this. Uh, I don't like doing splices like this, but since there's lack of uh, wire there, I uh, kind of have to do that. I even cut one of the uh, ties here, uh, cut this one that was here, and it still was not giving me any slack, so I just cut the piece where it was uh, melted on the vinyl, and then I actually uh, used my wire stripper hit there, strip both ends, and then uh, soldered both ends uh, and then soldered them together and then that's what I did for the end result is uh, 
put the uh, shrink wrap or shrink tubing around it so that it wouldn't short anything nearby. So yeah, that's uh, I think that's it for now, anyways.